I have a lot of questions and a lot of answers that need to be given to me. Lucky for me, I have Notion Q&A in my little back pocket. It's over here. See it? Just kidding, there's nothing in this pocket. What, what I do have is Notion Q&A to give me answers to a lot of different questions, which, while the product is in beta, I have Notion AI, and luckily I can ask questions to Notion Q&A in order to get a lot of different information out of my Notion workspace. When I press Command, P or control P, which you'll notice is that I have the ability to ask AI in, and then this is the name of my Notion workspace. Now, is this ChatGPT inside of Notion? I mean, sort of, yeah. I mean, it's pretty much just like taking all the different data inside of your Notion workspace and making it so that you can ask questions of it. So for example, what I can do is ask just a very basic question of something about my workspace, not something in general, right? It's not gonna reference ChatGPT's database of things, it's gonna reference my multiple databases of things. So I can ask the question, how many tasks do I have in my tasks DB unchecked today? Then it's gonna find different pages that are actually within my task database that are unchecked. So I have two tasks unchecked. Now that isn't entirely accurate, but it's not entirely false either. So you can see how this is a little bit of a work in progress. I'm gonna put a not 100% accurate. So that's some of the feedback I'd give. But if you do check out my unchecked tasks for the day in my actions page, this is two of the unchecked ones. Now I have a couple more that are unchecked. However, this is pretty cool. Like if I ask the question, once again, what are my meetings today? I'm just answer some of the questions here. And once again, it's not gonna do a perfect job of asking the information based on what's in databases. So that's something I wanna say that's wrong with it. However, if I ask the question about where something is inside of my workspace, I totally can. So if I said something like, where can I find billing invoices in this Notion workspace? For someone who's in my workspace who doesn't know how to navigate it, and since Notion's search functionality isn't always great, you'll notice that it even showcases to me where inside of this it could be found from a page path perspective, which is pretty cool. Now, this is something you're probably wondering at this point, like, well, why would I even need this, right? Like, what's the whole purpose of this? For me, the whole purpose of this is to actually get context as to the different knowledge bases that you may have inside of your workspace. Like, for example, if I type something like this, how do we utilize Screen Studio for our editing workflow? Which is just a question that it's based off of all the different things that we have inside of the workspace. And you'll notice here that it gives a very good answer because this is a big part of our workspace. Screen Studio is utilized in the editing workflow by initially using the software to record screens. The footage is then aligned in Premiere Pro and shared with the editor. The shared project consists of audio and the exported screen recording. This is so accurate, it's not even funny. Like we have one of these inside of here, which tells us the whole workflow. However, inside of this, it picked up a lot of different contexts throughout the entirety of my workspace to give me that answer. And the majority of the answers lie within a lot of these looms and recordings, but it's really cool how I was able to give me an answer because I was baffled in the first place that it could do that, but it'll help answer the question very easily for new users on my team. Like another question could be, what database slash pages do we use for managing our tasks and projects as in a team in Rise and RP? Rise Productive, the name of my company. Now, you may be unsure of this if you were new to the team. However, Rise Productive uses a variety of tools for task and project management. Notion is the primary tools used with specific databases and pages. And then we use Slack and Google Drive as well. This is accurate for what's within here. And then I could ask the question like, are there any dashboards to look at to manage my priorities? And this is where some of the issues do come up. I'm asking questions about the workspace, but it's not necessarily figuring it out. But if I asked a specific question about a workflow or something where there's a lot of written text related to it and not necessarily it looking up databases and what their use cases are, then I would figure it out. Like a lot of these just don't apply, unfortunately. Like if I ask the question, what content will we be posting on YouTube this week? Since it's gonna to try to reference something in the database, I don't expect it to do a great job. But if I ask questions about something that was written in text form, it'll do a better job. You couldn't find exact information on what specific content will be posted on YouTube this week. It's not very good considering 
you know, I have a database that has very obvious reference to this being YouTube and it could just show what's going to be posted this week, but it just really doesn't. Overall, I think that Notion Q&A is a long way to go considering most people who are keeping data integrity pretty nice utilize their databases rather than their pages in order for them to go through workflows in Notion. A little bit disappointed with where this product is at, but I hope that it'll be able to improve significantly moving forward. If you have any other questions on Notion Q&A, this is just a showcase of how, in a practical sense for me, doesn't really do much, but it might do something for you. And it might do something for you being productive like in this video on how to improve your productivity even more.